Good morning. We've got one piece leaving today already. You can see Rich is helping load. That's the piece that just got picked up. He already put down 60 and he just gave me 80 because of the hassle of not being able to pick it up when he said he was going to. So I made some money off that. I bought that at an auction for five bucks. Does anybody remember us garbage picking this piece? Finally got it out of the back of the truck and it's all tightened up and glued. There was a lot of loose pieces on the bottom, but everything was there. Rich got it all tightened up and it is ready for market now. I think I'm gonna list over 125. See how it does, it's gorgeous. I cannot take credit for the paint job. People love that shabby chic stuff though. <laughs> it goes pretty quickly. And this is this piece is huge. And there's some good storage. Okay, why is this not opening? Storage in that cabinet. It's humid and it's old. <laughs> I'm trying to do that one-handed. So there's these two drawers and a cabinet on either end. So there's a good good deal of storage. Ready to go? And since we cannot go yard selling because it won't stop raining ever, this is what we sold. I'm going to start in the front and kind of work my way to the back because we've got eBay and Etsy stuff that have sold. So this 007 game we picked up at Salvation Army for I think $3 and it finally sold for $14.99 plus $2.75 for medium mail shipping. So made a little bit of profit there, but this video game, this video game was a score. This one we picked up for $1 at a yard sale. Now, when I got home, and well, I first realized it's for a Nintendo Switch. Then I opened it and realized there's two games in here. There is the Pikachu game and Super Mario Party for the Nintendo Switch. Interesting. So I put that on auction with a $99 or 99 cent, sorry, 99 cent start bid. And it sold four. Come on, focus. There it goes. $62.76. Whoa. So Rich did pretty well on that game. He also sold this handbook manual that he's had laying around. The new Fisher handbook. It's pretty cool. It's got kind of instructions on old system setups and old stereo consoles and things and stuff and information. Sold that for 10. I believe he picked that up at an auction or within an auction lot somewhere. Probably Casey's, but I'm not super sure on that. This we haven't had too long. I couldn't find anything on it. It is cast iron. It's a flamingo doorstop. I picked this out of a cart at Salvation Army. Not like someone's cart. It was like the cart of stuff they were tagging up to be put on the shelves. I should uh, I should be more specific about that. Uh, but it never even made it out on the shelf. And it was tagged for $4.99. And because I couldn't find any... And because they are vintage pink flamingos, which anything unique pink flamingo seems to sell well. Um, not the new stuff, but if it's vintage and it's pink flamingo, it tends to sell pretty well. Sold that for $44.95, so 45 bucks on eBay as well. These we haven't had very long at all. I picked these up from Salvation Army on Monday for four dollars a piece. They are brand new with the tags. Clearly no damage. Rich is like, oh my god, those things are so ugly. I don't want those. Well, good, you don't need to have them. I will have them. I uh, I have eight dollars invested in them and I took a $36 offer with 11.10 shipping. So I made some money off there pretty quickly. They are pretty, you know, with the right lamps, they would look really, really swell. Also sold those on eBay. Now we'll move on to the two items that I sold on Etsy. This fireplace screen is epic. It is not vintage like 1940s, it is vintage like 1980s, but it is still pretty sweet. 
sold that on Etsy for $80. I don't know where it's going, but it's costing $40 to ship it. Whew. And it's not a huge box, but I guess it is kind of heavy. These do fold inward like this. Oh, it's going to be a pain with one hand, but anyway, it folds. Voila, like so. Shipping box isn't going to be that bad size-wise. And then we'll move on uh, to another crotchet. Love selling the crotchets. This crocheted blanket we picked up at Salvation Army. I think I paid five for it, but don't quote me on that. It's been a minute. It took me a little while to get it listed. It just kind of sat around and looked pretty here. I used it in a couple stagings for some things I put on Facebook Marketplace. Finally got it listed. It is going to Venice, California. Jeez, they paid $23.02 to ship this, and I sold it for $25. And that is all the stuff that we are going to get ready to go out today. And then the weather's really crappy, so I don't know if we'll hit maybe a Salvation Army or find some sale that has everything shoved in a pole barn. We'll let you know. On our way to go ship stuff, but we found a garage sale. We're going to go peep the scene. Well, we did find a couple things. Got that awesome mirror for five bucks and a giant bag of CDs for, I think we paid 10, but man, we got some really good ones. Shipping's done, the sun is out, and we're gonna check uh, Salvation Army. See what we can find here. What does it do? I figured out it's a nose. Like it's a side sideways schnoz. But like, what's it for? I don't understand that piece at all. I see the nose is for your glasses. That makes sense, kind of. It's kind of neat for three dollars. Now I do believe we just found a winner winner chicken dinner. That is a very hard to find step two seahorse toddler swing. I am having a very hard time even finding information on it. That's how rare it is. We've meandered back to the house. This is the items that we've purchased by leaving the house. It never fails. Leave the house to do anything, come back with more crap. It just, the life of a reseller. But I think we did really good on this seahorse. I guess we can start with him. He is step two, seahorse, toddler, swing. Now when I seen it, I wasn't sure, but I remembered from doing research in the past on certain swings from Little Tykes and step two, that there are certain ones that are very hard to find. They only made them for a very short period of time. And the ones that survived are few and far between. This is one of them. It is so rare that the only thing I can find is there's something on worth point, which is worthless to me. And I can't even find any sold listings on eBay. Um, which leads me to a giant question mark as to what to charge. I believe I am going to put this on auction, even though it makes me a little bit nervous. Whatever. As long as I make over $10 on it, which is what I spent, it'll be profit, which I can't imagine this thing going for less than $10. I might actually just start the bid at like $24.99 or something ridiculous and just see what happens. This is so pretty. It is vintage Soraka wood, and it does actually have the original tag on the back up here. There's no damage that I see yet. <laughs> I have to be very careful with that. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to ask for yet. I started to look it up and then I got distracted by making a grocery list for vacation. <laughs> so I haven't looked this up yet. I uh, also picked up another one of these vintage mug holder display rack things. I think I spent $3 on that one. They usually sell pretty quickly. Probably won't make a giant profit off of it, but I don't have them for very long, so I can kind of justify spending the money on it. And this is so freaking bizarre. It is a vanity tray for like your rings and change and stuff. And I couldn't figure out like, why is there a nose there? What is this for? It's for your glasses. <laughs> it's very cool. Very retro 80s kind of design. Spent $3 on it. There is one sold listing for $13.99. All the other ones that are listed are listed right around $35 to $45. 
I got it anyway because it's neat and I liked it. <laughs> so I plan on probably listing it in the $25 to $35 range. There's no damage and it's cool. The music pile. We found some killer, killer, killer music. CDs, ACDC, I mean just Pink Floyd, Ted Nugent, Frank Zappa, the Beatles. I mean, just 25 cents a piece on those and 25 cents a piece on these. Jimi Hendrix and Heart. We all know how I feel about Joan Jett. Oh no, is this? No, it's not. Anyway. Pile of good music is my point. And other stuff gonna get back to listing and organizing my house because I want to get some of this done before we leave to go on vacation Saturday $100 closing out this video on a good note I did not get the sale on video because I was cutting Keegan's hair getting ready to go up north but that is the right saw sold for parts for $100 bought it at the auction two days ago I think for $45 bought it for 45 sold it for a hundred that auction just ended up being incredibly profitable <laughs> we almost didn't go so I'm glad we did go I'm glad we made some money and on that note see you guys tomorrow